What's up, everybody? We are playing King's Quest 3 today, starting in it. Well, I say serious. I don't know how long this is going to take. Probably just a few hours. But um, if you're familiar with this channel, you'll know I played the ADG remake of King's Quest 3 a couple years ago. And uh, I'm going to turn that down a little bit for myself, my own comfort. Um, yeah, there was Man Mananen. Key Grip, Ken Williams. That's funny, because he was the president of Sierra. That's <laughs> interesting title for him. Um, I guess it's going to go into some sort I don't want to like, click through this in case something happens. Russ's last... His surname is True Love? That's beautiful. All right, let's get some context here. Gwydion is a lonely lad of 17 who has lived for as long as he can remember with an evil and cruel wizard by the name of Mananin. Kind of sounds like Manhattan. Gwydion gazes upon the countryside of Ludor with longing, wishing he were free to leave, but alas, uh, he can't? <laughs> I didn't get that last sentence. Mananin treats the poor boy like his slave, ordering him about, constantly threatening him, and refusing to ever let him leave the premises. Often, Gwydion wonders who he really is and how he came to live with the old wizard. But Mananin is... whatever. Yeah, it's loud, but there won't be very much music in this game, so I'm going to let it go for now. Suddenly, the front door opens, and out stalks Mananin, the wizard. He's a dick, I assume that last sentence was. Oh, oh, Gwydion rushes to his side, afraid he might be in trouble. Why are you not working, boy? The wizard sneers. Gwydion mumbles a faint reply. The kitchen floor is filthy. And Anning grumbles, go sweep it now! Turning on his seal, the wizard re-enters the house, slamming the door behind him. Man, Mananin's got, like, a foot on Gwydion. Love that classic... one-bit soundtrack. Such is the story of young Gwydion's life to this point. What's a poor boy to do? Oh well. In resignation, Gwydion obediently follows Mananin into the house. There you go. There's your context. All right. So, a uh, little personal context. The reason I haven't played this game, and I played the ADG remake, which was pretty good, actually, in its place a few years ago, was because this game is one of the worst typey games of all time. I would argue it is the worst typey game of all time. And everyone who knows this channel knows how anti-typey I am. But you know what? I need to grow up at some point. Might as well be during this Let's Play. <laughs> so let's just get over it and uh, call this uh, Gwydion. Is that how you're spelling it? I mean, all right, spoiler, Alexander. Oh, no. All right, we are back and good to go. Figured out the saving issue. <laughs> I'm doing this live and people are like, just do it. No saves. Do it. But I reminded everyone that totally flies in the face of the save off and, and save early mantra that we uh, we always tout during these Sierra games. Okay. Um, so, yeah, this is a typey. This is the worst typey. It's super, it's probably the hardest King's Quest as a result of that. Um, but it's still a fantastic game. So, yeah, high time I did the original. Let's get into it. And there's Mananin. My office is dusty. Clean it at once. Screw off, wizard. <laughs> I was. He's very naughty. Fine. All right. So, I'm going to save compulsively now. That's all I did. It was just click through, basically. And we're going to go with Alex. No spoilers, hopefully, for anyone watching this. Um... So we have to do what Mananin says, otherwise he will kill us. So, yeah. Let's not get killed. And let's dust. Get duster. Insert your own King's Quest IV, uh, da -da 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 you know, when Roselle is cleaning up for the dwarves in their house. That's what I always picture right here. 
Don't even worry about the bookshelf, I guess, right? Don't empty the garbage. Man, I, I think I need to slow this down. I need, um, wish we had mouse support. We don't even have that. And it's like, it's not just like it's a bad typey, but it's one of those typeys like Space Quest 2 where it doesn't pause anything when you want to type. So the action just unfolds in real time as you're trying to type, basically. Uh, oh, <laughs> I think, yeah, right. All right, empty uh, dust bin. What say dust bin? I thought that was the uh, thought that was gonna be the language that they were going to understand as I go for a little, little journey there. Empty trash. What's a trash? Man, we're in trouble. I can already tell. Okay. Well, not much to do right now. So you'll notice there's a running clock up at the top of the screen. Did I not just clean the office with the uh, dust? Clean office. Let's see if they make me just grab that again. I think I did that. I don't want him to kill me, though, so I will we'll just make sure. Clean office. All right, so the same thing. Just wanted to make sure. All right, so we definitely cleaned the office. We get no points for that because that's just what, what's expected of us. It's garbage, if you ask me. All right, so the running clock um, is extremely important because Mananen is going to take trips out of speak of the devil what a jerk just pops in to stare at me I get no privacy in this house I tell ya um, he takes trips every now and then and that is your only chance to go try to talk to the viewers Mananin you coming or going uh-oh, it's him again. Yeah, and I cleaned it so... God. Sick of it. We've been playing this for two minutes. I'm already sick of the guy. Get br uh, that, I don't think we need to do the chores right now. Um, And that's not something we need to carry around with us. Get meat. Get bread. Yeah, when Mananin leaves, that is... Uh, let's just say fruit. That is your only chance to leave the house. Otherwise, he will kill you. Or at least punish you. And that's not good either. He is a super creeper. I could not agree more. Yeah, I'm using these arrow keys here. To hit some of these sweet angles. <laughs> oh, so close. There it is. Nope. He kind of drifts down a little bit. Let's keep saving off and early. Let me give you guys a tour. <laughs> this is uh, this is our room. Barely qualifies a room. I don't think he likes it when I close the door, but screw him. Oh, okay, never mind. I'm too scared. This is our own pitiful bed chamber. It's like he just like put a divider up, basically. Yep, our own meager possessions. We got nothing basically. And what? what? Okay, that was weird. Uh, this is our inventory uh, as we continue the tour. Uh, we have nothing that Mananin cares about right now. If we do have something that he cares about, we can hide it under our bed, which is nice. But if he catches us with something that he doesn't like, a.k.a. a magical item, he'll kill us. There's a lot of instances where Mananin is going to kill us. It kind of boggles the mind to think that we made it to 17. But, uh, wow, that takes a long time to get that inventory out. Look in mirror. A tall, handsome lad dressed in dirty rags. Look behind tapestry. King's Quest 4. Interesting. <laughs> I do have my hands full with King's Quest 3. I only have 4 of 210 points. All right. <laughs> There's his damn cat. Pet cat. Right, yeah. Gwydion and the cat don't get on. He has a good reason. The cat literally tries to trip me and kill me on these stairs. And it's blocking me right now. Stupid cat. This is Mananin's room. He'll get angry if we're in there without his permission, so let's leave. 
Sometimes he tells us to go in and like clean out his chamber pot and stuff. It's pretty gross, but you know, what are you gonna do? Uh, all right, so since I played this before, <laughs> I never said this. D disgustedly, you look at it. I don't want to carry around a dead fly, you think. Picking off its wings, you throw the rest away. You're a strange boy, Gwydion, I gotta say. <laughs> oh, man. Just keep the wings. Put your eye to the glass. It amazes you how near everything seems. You can see squirrels wandering or climbing from faraway trees. So he's a bit of a uh, voyeur. Bananan, apparently. Checking out the ladies and or fellas and or squirrels of... Oh, no! <laughs> You're like, bro, I just picked up some fly wings and he's killing me already. <laughs> All right, let's not pick up the sacred magical fly wings until, uh, until he's out of town. But you know what? Joke's on him. Now we know that those are magical and uh, apparently powerful. So <sighs> whatever. You just sign your own death warrant, Mananan. <laughs> What's this picture? Look at picture. Okay, then. Well, screw me for being interested. Sorry I asked. Let's go outside. I think I like these uh, chickens. Pet chicken. How can you do that? How can you do that? Fine. We're really just killing time until Mananan leaves so we can, you know, breathe a relaxed sigh and go exploring. Not much to do in the meantime. If we try leaving, he'll kill us. If we pick up anything else, he'll kill us. Very touchy, that wizard. Yeah, the no-death run is gone. It's history. Let's admire some of his books while we're here in the study. Glint of metal. Interesting. As soon as we check that out, he's going to kill us. Don't a trip, you douche. Journey, whatever. All right. So. Mananan gone. I don't know. Did I spell that right? I don't even care. Screw that guy. Okay. So, um... It's five minutes, 38 seconds. I think the, the timer turns a different color when he's getting closer to returning. I don't know exactly how long it is that he's gone. Maybe 10 minutes real time. I don't know. But let's take uh, advantage of this. Make the most of it. Head out. I don't even know if Gwydion's ever left the house before. Like the way that... Um, I'm going to save a lot here, actually, because this is dangerous. Man, I'd kill for a mouse right now, or at least mouse uh, accessibility. Can't even see this. That's just cruel. But Gwydion really doesn't let on at all whether or not he uh, he's left before it. He makes it seem like this is his first trip ever out of the house. That was all without using any diagonal keys. I'm pretty proud of that, actually. And let's see, it takes about a minute to get back to the house from this screen. So let's keep that in mind. Very dangerous mountains. All right. Let's start checking out the surrounding areas, right? Ooh. What a fine oak, you think? <laughs> really? Uh, what do we got on the ground? Look at ground. Look at around. Look at ground. Get acorns. You eventually find three dried acorns. Took you a while. Got to check every every hole in every tree in this game, as every Sierra game. All right, just reach in then. Reach in the hole. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, 
Hell yeah. All right. You start getting a second save. That would be awkward if I were in the Mananan, like in this tree house or uh, at a bar in town. <laughs> oh no! Douche. And that's two deaths. So this is completely random, so I think we should keep popping in and out here. Just to be thorough. Let's go Alex1, even though I meant to type 2. Da -da 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 -da. Reminds me of the uh, the dwarf in King's Quest 2. I swear, he he won't come out. He won't be here every time. Maybe we have to do something else first. That could very well be. Seems like we need to have been somewhere else. I think we need to like find out about this tree first. Like I'm not supposed to know about it. But anyway. <laughs> Got a running timer on how many times I've died. Counter, if you will. I don't think there's anything on this screen for what it's worth. So there you go. There's the three bears. Living here, I think. Pick some flowers. No? Not a solicitor. Rawr! <laughs> Doing his intimidation dance. All right. This is another screen where we need to pop on and off to get the effect we want. There we go. There are three fully clothed bears coming. You hear Mama Bear say, Thank you, dear. That was a lovely walk. You don't have to thank your husband for suggesting it. Did he pay for that walk? Maybe it's different in the bear community. I don't know. Um, Let's get some more saves going. Why not? Oh, uh, yeah. Mama Bear in the garden. She does get angry. I'm going to trample some of her flowers. Max me onto the next screen. Oh, she didn't kill me. Gah. There they go. If they're not coming, they're going. The little one's so cute. All right. Let's say we go in the bear's house. Rob them. Get soup. Get food. Look at table. Fine. Maybe figure out how to spell porridge live on camera. <laughs> Just right. What else can we steal from these friendly bears? <laughs> That's right. Mama, Mama bear couldn't bear the sight of her trampled flowers. I love it. Open drawer. Anything? Nice. Getting all kinds of magical items now. Anything else in there? A few bear-sized clothes. Nah, I'm not gonna take a, take a nap on their bed. This one's too hard, this one's too soft, this one's just right. Okay. Got us some porridge. That is progress. All right, I want to get the dew. Good call. Nice. Got a thimble brewing, brimming with dew. Good call. Store. I don't think we have anything to trade with this guy yet, but let's check it out. That dog always looked like it was messed up or something to me. Good day to you, young man, greets the storekeeper. What can I do for you? Hello. Hi. Talk to man. I don't know. What are you selling? 
What's a ask? What's a ask? I think we're in trouble. Did I miss some mistletoe? Ah, good call. Walked right by it. There we go. Good luck. He's gone for 30 minutes. Well, in that case, we have until 35 minutes before he gets back. I do think that thing will change colors. I could be wrong. Inquire about goods? You might be right. Ah, there's the thieves. I think we get to overhear them talking. Wench, come out here with more ale. This is one uh, aspect where the ADG remake vastly superior to the original because Alexander gets to sing that really, really great song. <laughs> Got her pixelated boobage shaking around as she, uh... Anyway, talk to you, woman. Keep your shirts on, you ornate buzzards. I'll be there quick enough. Two are keeping me hopping. Let's get a beer, right? Ah, oh, dang. How do you know I have no money? Oh, my clothes. Okay. I now order dragons. 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 Breath. What's a dragons? Fine. Let's just talk. All right, then. Beat it, kid. I think. They do mention, I think we just have to like hang out, right? And they'll talk about, maybe we should just go to their tree house right now while they're away. I don't know what I said. This is just the pier, we have no need for that right now. There will be a ship there later, but not until we have gotten quite a few things done otherwise. And there's the cave. Can't do anything with that yet. There's a massive cobweb, spider web, covering it right now, and it will suck us in and we will die. Like pretty much everything else in this game. All right, so you very quickly see the entire land of Ludor or whatever, very small. It's about, it's like a three by three grid, maybe four by three. Pretty small. Makes getting around pretty uh, pretty easy. <laughs> was there drinking age? I don't know. I was ready. At 17, I was ready to grab. Is that a snake? Uh, uh, I think I need the mirror back from... Uh, I think I need to go back up, actually. If we're good on that 30-minute roll, then I think we should head back up to the mountain right quick. I gotta slow it down here. Did the timer speed up at all? When I did that, did anyone notice? I would love to stay on fastest all the time, but it's just too difficult to move him around where I want him in that sense, at that speed. Yeah, I think there's like a special mirror that we can grab from Ananan's wardrobe. I should have grabbed a couple more things before I left. I was just so excited to finally go out and see uh, Luendor for the first time. Ludor? I say Luendor, I don't know. This kind of reminds me of um, the tricky cliffs in Black Cauldron. Another fantastic early Sierra game. Check it out, my let's play of it. That's definitely one of the first games I ever played on this channel. All right, let's make sure we raid everything. Make sure we got... Uh, look at the moose. But an old head. Do feel sorry for the old thing. Uh, there's a knife. Forgot about. He won't let me take that, I don't think. Spoon, knife. Get bucket. It's of no use. How does the narrator just know, or whoever's who we're talking about? That's right. Second book in that series. It's the only one I've read, actually, and 
the only one, as far as I know, that they've made a movie and a game out of. Uh, let's pull the lever, right? Uh, pull metal. Pull book. There we go. Now, it's super important that we remember. Actually, I don't even know that I need to do this right now. So let's just do this in case. Interesting. What's the wizard hiding from us down here? I don't think any, I don't think I need any of this stuff. Right now, at least, let's see. Let's see, powdered fish bone, nightshade juice, magic root powder, saffron, toad spittle, and toadstool powder. I think we want all this stuff. Take fish bone, okay. Definitely can't be carrying this stuff around. This needs to go under the bed. Take juice, okay. Take powder, ah, take mandrake root powder, Baba Yaga style, okay. Uh, take the saffron, take toad spittle, and to take toad stool powder. Could I just say take it all? It's of no use. Okay. Make a mandrake mousse. It would at least keep me alive and in good company with Baba Yaga, if nothing else. All right. I guess that's it for now. We're, we're going to do some spells here later. And that's going to be the most interesting part of this Let's Play. <laughs> I might pull up a guide just for the... Uh, just for which diction to use, essentially. But we'll see. All right. So we got to put everything back. Uh, move book. There we go. Everything exactly how we saw it. Open drawer. Thought there was something interesting in there. I guess not. He literally said there's nothing interesting. Okay. So let's just check out his wardrobe now. I think he's got some stuff. Oh yeah, I'll definitely turn myself into a cat or whatever happens. Yep. My body is strong. My face handsome. Ah. But look in robe. Look behind clothes. There you go. Good look. A map. Okay. Nice. Closed closet. Uh, look at closet. Brass key, there we go. Remember that. Open drawer here. Okay, so we took that. All right, close it on its own. And drop a turn. <laughs> I should. All right, so we got the mirror. We got the 
the key, we got the essence, uh, we got the map. That might be everything. We're already going crazy on the saves, but that's all right. Roberta Williams would approve. I don't think there's anything under his bed. All right. All right. The moment we've all been waiting for, let's go get that f those fly wings. Oh, yeah. I'm spoiling everybody. Get out of my freaking cat. Even when he's not here. Being a douche. There we go. <laughs> use the chamber. I should use the chamber pot. I'll do that when I get back. Sometimes I manage to type a plus. Get wings. I'm literally right on top of it. There we go. All right. Now the question is, do we store all this stuff now? Well, all the magical stuff we don't need outside of the house. So we can really keep all that stored. Uh, use pot. <laughs> Suck it, Mananan. Next time he tries to use that, it's going to be a little bit fuller than he remembered. Oh, yeah. We'll kick the cat. <laughs> Love that. We don't get on, the cat and I. That's all right. <laughs> he knows everything. I don't know how he knew I had fly wings on me. He he just sensed that. All right, let's take a look at our inventory, and we'll see a little little asterisk next to the uh, the magical items that we can get killed over. So we might as I'm like if we're solid on that thirty minutes, then I'm I'm just gonna like stick with this. The twenty minutes would be. Let's just say still in house. Let's call that that. I don't know if I'm going to need any of this stuff out in the world. So. So hopefully he won't be back in five minutes. He'll be back in 15 minutes. Were they magic acorns? Oh, that's that was tricky there. That was made my heart stop for a second. <laughs> Haven't fallen yet, to my credit. Starting to use some diagonal keys here a little bit. I like it. Smooth. Almost as good as a mouse. Hey, there's a, uh, I think that drops a feather, actually, if I'm not mistaken. There you go. Heck yeah. It's worse things it could drop. Okay. All right. So now I think we can go out into the desert and mess on Medusa. Rematch, rematch. I should also try pull, uh, pull hole. Reach in hole. Let's see if those guys are still here. They were just in town drinking, but that was... Five minutes ago, six minutes ago. So we'll see. <gasps> He's sleeping. The bin, open bin. Let's do a new save here. Six, look in bin. There's nothing, all oh, right, I think if they like, if they catch me somewhere and they rob me, that's where my stuff is gonna be. Get purse. <gasps> all right, let's get the H out of here. Nice, and you know what? Just as an extra F you, I'm gonna leave this ladder right here for <laughs> anyone passing by to go check out. Let's go back to the original Alex. What? Oh my god. Sons of... <laughs> 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 
they didn't they didn't want to rob me as I was climbing up their tree. It's pretty fantastic. I did pull a thiefy McSteel. All right, let's not get murdered by uh, any snakes. Let's not get bit. Here we go. Use mirror. Oh no! Dang it! It's not good. What's the death counter at now? <laughs> just can't look at her. Yeah, what do you think of that? Suck it. All right, so now I guess we can like walk around freely. I think that's the main thing here. Can I like get the cactus? Okay. Maybe it's like a, like a bit that's been broken off or something. All right, whatever. Cut cactus? Use knife on cactus. I have a knife. Don't don't mess with me. I have a knife. All right. Guess they meant the cactus. Good luck on the snake skin. Don't know where Alexander is. I mean, Gwydion is putting all this stuff. There we go, cute little cactus. Wonder if that number is gonna change colors once we get to, um, did I just like change the name of that save? Uh, that's weird, whatever. That's fine. Thimble hasn't spilt yet, I know, it's amazing. <laughs> Truly incredible. Nice try. Really nice try, actually. They almost got me. See a lot of animals carrying on conversations. I don't know if you noticed. There'll be more on that uh, before too long. Dang it, they're everywhere! I'd frozen them. It's like three or four screens they have access to. Oh, we could probably buy stuff now that we have those coins. Oh, we get a beer too, more importantly. <laughs> Open door. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes? What? What will it be for you, sir? A good pull of ale or a other dram of rum? Oh, yeah. What are some rum? Hell yeah. It's probably the first alcohol young Gwydion's ever had in his life. Uh. You all right there, Gwydion? I'm not doing this, by the way. He's drunk as a skunk. But now we're good. Uh, how much check purse? Look in purse. You may want to count them. Count coins. I have seven. Order another rum. You can't while you're drunk? Oh no, each rum is one. All right. Did I even get any points for that? No. Is there any point in talking to her? How did they manage to get by me, by the way? Did they go in and out the window? Uh, beer first. Let's flirt. What's a flirt? Ugh. How about a beer? Same thing. Coint count coins. Yeah, these rates are kind of crazy. 
one gold coin for a beer or a rum. You're just taking advantage of me because I'm uh, never drank before. I have no concept. Uh, let's see what he's got on the shelves. Pouches, salt fish, oil lard. There we go. I'm drunk wouldn't you to tell the wizard what he really thinks of you're one son of <laughs> I like that. One gold coin. Uh by salt. Gold coin. Yeah, I gotta pet the dog. I do remember that. Get that fur. Uh by oil. By lard. Count coins. I have four gold coins. All right. Uh, look at shelves. Fish oil. That's everything. All right. Pet dog. <laughs> You have no reason to think any of this stuff is important. He's just like, okay, I'll put some dog fur in my pants. That's fine. I'm an opportunistic wizard's apprentice. Well, slash slave. Honestly. Uh, can I get some water and stuff? Can I get some ocean water here? Am I going to drown if I drop off here? We're good. Don't even have to, t have to tell him to swim. My cup. Don't ask me how he keeps that up right in his pants. Same with, as the thimble. It's one of life's little mysteries, I guess. All right. There's also some mud I need to get. A thing hasn't changed colors yet. I guess it's the five minute mark, which would be around 30. Yeah, I've only, well, yeah, I've, I've played the AGD. That's the one that's on the channel right now. <laughs> it's odd playing this one first, actually, or that one first for the channel, at least. I played this game a long time ago. It's, it's just been a minute. All right. Um,. He is smarter than Graham. He knows the swim's not being told. <laughs> How crazy is that that that's a thing? Graham's like, what? Completely forgot about that. All right. Do we think I have everything for now? We feeling good about this? I'm going to say minute 27 base of mountain. Uh, what's the map? Interesting. I, yeah, I forgot about this. Uh, F6, we have a little mouse. I forgot. Yeah, this is clutch. So it shall be. Won't take us all the way up there, unfortunately. Yeah, Graham survived a lot of falling out of that tree. That was kind of ridiculous. Not my best moment on this channel. <laughs> now that I think about it. Funny, I never used to use the map. Um, so I guess it's even more impressive that back in the day I just sort of made it back here in time. Every time. Uh, I'm trying to think if we have enough time to rattle off a spell. Gwydion feels a strange pulling sensation. Same character. Spoiler. There we go. I think I need some feathers, too. Ah! Chick. There we go. Awesome. 
All right. So now it's just like I'm sort of in like a odd spot here where I need to get these spells off fast enough, but we'll see. Um, all right, the cat fur. Where is that cat? Here we go. Fear scratch. We do get a few, quite a few scratches from trying to get this damn cat. Do I need to give him like? Is there like food I can give the cat? There we go. <laughs> Stupid cat, whether you know it or not, you just help me. Whether I know it or not. How about that? How do I know about spells all of a sudden? <sighs> so does time go any faster? No, nah, doesn't seem like it. All right, let's hide our stuff. Oh man, hide magic items. Can I just do that? Ah. Nice. Everything at once. Do I have nothing now? That's fine. <laughs> no animals for abuse in the making of this game. Of this let's play. All right. I mean, I guess I have. Let's do like a save on three real quick, but I'm just like, I don't know. Did I get the cat, by the way? It's more. F there we go. Um. Let's see what we got time for. Let's let's live dangerously. Cat will definitely kill you if he's like on the steps right here, which he will show up sometimes. And if he can trip you and you will fall and die, so it's rough. It's rough. Sorcery of old. Yes, it could. Young Gwydion. Turn to page one. Uh, turn to page one. Turn to page two. Turn to page two. Too complicated. What? Read the book, bro. Is that not a thing yet? Our oh, Roman numerals. There we go. Good call. Every step's critical. Yes, I know. I'll be messed up seven ways to Sunday if I messed up. Ooh. Right, just read book and it says, Nope, you're dead. I <laughs> have giant ears. <laughs> you're all ears now, Gwydion. This is where I need some sort of walkthrough. I like the end of this. <laughs> it's all good. I don't know, that's fine. I could take big ears. <laughs> Since you're dead. I turn to page. I turn to page. K 
get good. That should help. <laughs> I will type that. Get good. What's a get? Jeez, so ridiculous. All right. Let's see. All right. Let's see if this works. What? What? I have like three feathers, bro. I guess I should have specified which one. Put the small feather in a bowl. What? I don't have the bowl. Oh, right, 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 right. Thank you. Yeah, I don't think I have time for this. This was... I definitely have the fur here. All right, let's get the bowl. I am not a grad. I'm not even a graduate of wit. I am a, let's use a walkthrough for this part because it's stupid. And I have very good memories of it being stupid. Get bowl. How the hell did you reach that? Oh well. <laughs> it's supposed to work every time. <laughs> Secret gamer knowledge. Get good. Pull book, pull lever. Get this darn spell off. I'm telling you. I think we can fall. I want to like I'll save a little time. Let's go, Alex. Hate here. It's mildly concussed. We can still do the spell. All right, turn to page. Put a small feather in a bowl. Yes! Put the fur in the bowl. Wait, which fur? Put a dog fur in bowl. Put reptile skin in bowl. Add spoonful of powdered fish bone. Uh, I should save after every damn ingredient. Stupid spell. Walkthrough's failing me here. All right, there we go. God. All together in this dish, give me wisdom to understand creatures of air, sea, and land with no punctuation and misspelling of creature. Creatures of air, sea, and land. Magic wand. 
Oh, I never got the damn wand. No. <laughs> That's the most important part, Alex. You nitwit. All right. Got to get the wand. Come on. Come on. Where's the wand? Is the wand right here? Or does he have it upstairs? What the hell is he doing? How is he here? There was, there was no, that was 25 minutes. That's so random. What the H, man? Mananin? <laughs> All right, let's get the hell out of here. We almost had that spell. I mean, we could do it as soon as he leaves, but... Yeah, that cat wants to trip me so bad. If I rub up on that cat, it's going to trip me. Ah! Oh. Wow, I didn't know. That's crazy. All right. Wands in the safe in the office. All right, good call. All right. Well, you know, we didn't have time anyway, so it's fine. And we'll get the wand next time. He'd probably know that that was missing anyway. We That's something we'd have to put back, so. I think everything else, pretty much. Um, I think we're okay with. We'll find out right now. I have a turn, Gwydion, and I'm ready to eat. I gotta get him some of that fruit that I put under my bed. I think that's all we need. Gotta make sure. That's the other thing, like. Uh, you might need it. Yeah, you might also want to, like, not die, so maybe you should. Did I misspell that? There we go. Whew. So, yeah, we're, the timer is not just important for when Mananan comes and goes, but it's also important because uh, he will kill you if you don't kill him by a certain time. And if you run out of food, he'll also kill you. So all this food that we're feeding him, we have a finite amount. It's just the bread, the meat, and the uh, the fruit here. I mean, he doesn't do much. Wait, what do you want? You put some fruit down in front of him. That, it's not like you were, you know, it's not uh, like you've been slaving over a hot stove all day there, Gwydion. Okay. He's not a fussy eater. Yeah, he, he's not expecting, you know, filet mignon. Filet mignon. Filet mignon. So I guess we just got to hang out right now. I think he's going to take a nap soon. I think that's his next order of business. Chill out in the meantime. Save compulsively. <laughs> Anytime, Anana. We just do all his chores before he yells at us to do them. Then he'll have nothing. And the, uh, the two that I know of Empty pot. Just dump it out the window. What a way to make a living. And uh, we can feed the chickens. Feed. 
feed chickens. There you go. One less thing Manana can yell at me for. Let that other one eat. So rude. Go clean the kitchen, I guess. <laughs> Might have to eat the chickens if, uh, if we run out of food otherwise. Oh, yeah. That's how I used to do all my chores as a kid, just turn the game speed up. I don't think it really matters. I think he's going to, like, sweep for 30 seconds either way, or whatever it turns out to be. There we go. I think that's all we can do. I think that's all he can yell at us for. Feed the chickens. Clean his office. He'll probably yell at me and say his office is dusty again, which... There you go. He's got nothing. Nothing. The huge difference between fast and fast is... <laughs> is this King Quest 3 or Cinderella? Yeah, that's right. It's the male version of Cinderella. Cinderfella. Leave now. We're on make to leave. It really does. Do oh, you just you just take a a fresh one. <laughs> Did you, Mananin? Manny? Let's go find out. Let's see what he left for us. All right, seriously, just turn down the speed. Yep, that's a good wizard. Who's my big wizard? There you go, buddy. Sim Duster. <laughs> Yo, thanks for tuning in. As we're just killing time now, waiting for him to leave so we can do that spell. Came so close. All we needed was that wand. Got all the all the steps. Everything. What's up? Take a nap, or what are you doing? Just staring at me? Just creeping? F off. What's that F? You're not that cruel. Ah, uh, we're just chilling out at this point. It's rough, very rough. Fortunately, he doesn't seem to mind that his uh, magic map, his brass key. Uh, or any of that other crap we stole from him is missing. As long as they're not on our person, I guess. You don't kill. You neutralize. <laughs> see the, oh, the cat's there. I didn't even see the cat. Good kitty. Kill cat. Good idea, but how? <laughs> you haven't the heart. Dang it. Always want to put those ends earlier. Wait, what? How do you spell his name? Oh, there's no O. He's right there. Do it. He's far too powerful. Taking a nap. Oh, you creeper. Such a creeper. Just sitting here. Sitting and waiting. It's funny, this walkthrough that I'm using for the spells says the only place he can pick up the cat is in his room. And I clearly picked him up down here. Maybe I should be walking a uh, 
or writing a walkthrough, walking a write through. Might as well go upstairs so I can be next to my stuff for when he f goes to sleep. Yo, what's up? Let's just hang out here. I'm not sure he'll show up on the right screen because I think that's like my room, quote unquote. So, and uh, as Gwydion said, that's where he leaves us alone. So, probably just chill out here for a moment. Maybe around 40 minutes, he'll tell me he's taking a nap. Anyway, uh, so I got all of the spells right here. So it's kind of nice. I can actually get all of these spells prepared in one sitting, which is really nice, actually. So hopefully while he's sleeping, we can get all this stuff done. <laughs> there he is. Didn't think he'd come in on the right. Going to bed, Gwydion. Do not disturb me. All right. Sounds good there, Manny. All right. Nap time for Manny. 39.44. All right, let's hurry, hurry, hurry. I don't know how long he sleeps for. So we'll need to make sure we save often and early. Fortunately, that's very much what we do on this channel. So we should be good. Okay. Open safe. Uh, open box. Use key. Open door. Okay then, screw you. Nice. All right, let's leave that as it is or we'll close it, whatever. Trip on the cat if I see it. Yeah, if I move book, pull lever. Now we're cooking. Now we're ready to cast some spells. Dabble in the occult, all that. We need to at least be on the next screen before we fall, otherwise we will die. Not even sure that's a time saver. It's like six and one, I think. Okay, let's try this one more time. Turn to page two. Put the small feather in bowl. Did I not take everything? What the H, man? Check that inventory right now. Definitely have all that stuff. All right, so what's the problem? Stupid spell. Put small feather in bowl. Oh, do I not have the bowl? That might have been one of those saves where I didn't get the bowl. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. All right. That's okay. Get stuff. Just one extra moment. Damn it, Gwydion! Ah, oh, just give me a mouse. Yep, there's a the damn bowl. All right. That was that's pretty good. Didn't waste a lot of time there. Wish we make up some time by 
going super fast here. What's up, Bach? No, what did F4 do? Okay. All right. Look how quickly we got back. Well, let's just go down this way. See how much time we save. Split second faster if we fall. I'm going to say it. All right. All right. Turn to page two. And please, please tell me I have everything finally. Oh, no. Oh, okay. All right. Dog fur in bowl. Put reptile skin in bowl. Re Repital. Stupid spell. Add fish bone. Ah! Add spoonful of powdered fish bone. Powdered! <laughs> no, this is the best game of all time. All right. Put thimble full of dew in bowl. That's right. Can't slow down. I'm on the clock. Put... Okay. Feather of fowl and bone of fish molded together in this dish. Give me wisdom to understand creatures of air, sea, and land. Wave magic wand. Hell, yes. That's one. Whew. Okay. All right. Uh, can't I? Oh, he stepped away. Pinch of saffron in essence. Oh, wing, wing spirit, set me free of earthly Bindings just like thee. In this essence, behold the might. To grant the precious gift of flight. I like the ability to fly is the easiest spell. It's just like, put some of this into that and you're done. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Turn to... Page 15. This is arguably the most important spell of this game. Let's see if we can do it right. Did I rinse out that ball after the last spell? Man, that fish oil coming in handy. Time, time again. Gross. Nice. Mandrake root of hair of cat and hair of cat. Oh, wow, I typed that wrong. And hair of cat. <laughs> Mix oil of fish and give a pat. A feline from the one who eats this appetizing magic treat. Heck yeah. Oh yeah. Three for three, and we can't do the next one yet. So, we need to go into town. Sorry, when was when did Manan go down for his nap? 
39.44. So he was gone 25 minutes. I think maybe for a nap, he's down for 15 minutes. He just takes a 15-minute nap, does Manny, or he gets cranky. So theoretically, with our magic map, we can get to town and back with time. <laughs> These wizards write some dope rhymes. Yes, they do. Uh, I guess I'll put this stuff back. I mean, we're trying to like do this stuff before Manana wakes up, by the way. All right. But, yeah. All right, so let's just do like a nice... Let's call this leaving house at 4352. There we go. All right. Let's see if we can do this quickly. Uh... Dip feather in essence. Yeah, but like dip eagle feather in essence. Because I want to. There we go. Yeah. You coming, spider? Dang right. No. <laughs> No, the spider's mortal enemy, the eagle. <laughs> Apparently. Just drop it in the ocean. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> All right, now we should have access to the cave. Good timing. All right, into the myth, mystical, mythical cave. Sup? Oracle remains silent for a long time. I don't have that much time. Men in sleeping. Finally, you hear a hollow voice that seems to come from far away. I've been waiting for you a long time, Gwydion. I have sorrowful news for you. Years ago, a terrible three-headed dragon invaded Daventry and keeps the people in a state of terror. This monster requires, once a year, the sacrifice of a young maiden. Whoa! And a dragon. <laughs> Rosella. Sadly, your own sister, Princess Rosella, is the chosen one this year. I'm glad he said that very quickly, because, like, I feel like Gwydion's like, Well, she's pretty. He's like, No, no. Calm down. She's your sister. Wait a minute. She's a princess and she's my sister. Mathematically, that makes me a prince. You, Gwydion, are the only one who can save them, but you must hurry. I have something to give you. A small stone of amber. Use it wisely, my friend. Sweet. Oracle grows silent again, and you seem to fall into a deep sleep. You attempt to thank the Oracle, but the Oracle does not respond. Thank you. You're welcome. So he does respond. Okay. Guess we already have the, uh... Make sure we have that stone. <laughs> and honest, I'm an honest to God prince. <laughs> Little space balls there. Uh, I don't know how they organize some of this stuff. It seems to be all over the place. Is that stone somewhere? Amber stone, there it is. Yep, yep. Believe it or not, the the amber stone that the oracle gave us is magical. So we got to keep that in mind. All right. So, we probably want to get back. 
look at map. Still drops me at the bottom. Lame. They just want to make me subject me to this annoying, uh, careful stepping, which I have not tripped yet, I don't think. Which is pretty good considering I'm just using arrow keys here. How long has he been down for? Only seven minutes. So if we're going to believe my arbitrary number of 15 minutes, then we still have time to run this final spell. Actually, it doesn't matter because we have what we need to buy us all the time in the world right now. That said, let's call this back in house at 47. Let's just do it. In the interest of being efficient, let's try to do it. Cat's like, wow, you're doing a lot of really bad stuff. <laughs> Wish I could talk to warn Mananan about you. Not gonna happen, kitty. I think you're gonna about, about to have some company, though. A peer, if you will. All right, let's see if we can get this off. Turn to page. I might be getting greedy here, but we'll see. Okay. Grind a spoon of salt in a mortar. Right, mortar is doing its thing. Grind the mistletoe. Mistletoe. Mistletoe in the mortar. Okay. Rub the stone in the mixture, our brand new stone. The beautiful amber stone. Kiss the stone. Smack! Alright, with this kiss I thee impart Power most dear to my heart Take me now from this place hither Or hither To another place far thither <laughs> There you go Wave magic wand Uh, I guess I need to do another spell. Oh, we need to do two more spells. Yeah, this is pushing it. <laughs> uh, let's call this Alex 7. Turn to page. This just shows how little respect we have for Mananan. Grind the acorns in a mortar. Put the acorn powder in a bowl. Put the nightshade juice in the bowl. Stir the mixture with a spoon. I'll light the charcoal. Heat the mixture on the Spread the mixture on a table. Acorn powder ground so fine. Nightshade juice like bitter wine. Ah, suck. <laughs> it's all right. Spread the mixture on a table. Acorn powder ground so fine. Nightshade, that's probably what I typed last time. Nightshade juice. Like, how does this compare to the, uh, to the potions where again, Kingdom Come Deliverance? Yeah, it's, it's a little different. It's less typing in Kingdom Come, I will say that. Silently in darkness, you creep. 
to bring a soporific sleep. What other kinds of sleep are there? Wave magic wand. Hopefully it's put sleep powder in pouch. Sleed. Oh my God. Okay. This is when we find out if it's to Alexander six, if it's 15 or 10 minutes. All right, Super Bowl uh, 84. Man, I don't think we have time for all these. <laughs> okay, this is where we where we now. This is becoming. This is brewing a storm. Put cup of ocean water in weeder in bowl. Light charcoal brazier. Heat bowl on brazier. Brazier. Put spoon of mud in bowl. Add pinch of toadstool powder. Blow into the hot brew. All right, elements from the earth and sea. I like that it pauses the clock for me here. Combine to set the heavens free. When I stir this magic brew. Oh, a second passes with each line. Great God Thor, I call on you. Wave magic wand. Pour the storm brew into jar. Heck yeah. Oh, we're getting so greedy, but this, this is the last spell. Honest to God. I'm gonna try to do the math on that one. Cut cactus with knife. Juice begins to drip. Squeeze cactus juice onto spoon. Put the cactus juice in bowl. Put lard in bowl. Add two drops of toad spittle. Stir mixture with spoon. All right, cactus, plant, and horny toad. I now start down a dangerous road. Combine with fire and mist to make me disappear without a trace. I'm gonna need all these spells in time. What? Did I do something wrong there? Heck yeah. Oh, my goodness. All right. Now let's book it like crap up to our room and store all this magical crap under our bed. Pray that Mordak slash Mananen doesn't wake up. I should have three minutes. Come 
Come on, Gwydion. Hell yes. That feels pretty darn good. Getting all that done while he was sleeping. All right, let's just get the darn cookie. Yeah, we even have extra snacks for ourselves once we uh, head out into the world. Yeah, Mordek has five. I get them mixed up. Cat cookie. He don't know. It says magic, but he doesn't know. Yeah, we just got to wait. Wait for him to wake up. <laughs> Whew. Freedom is coming. Freedom. Eat the cookie. Yeah, we probably should eat the cookie. Okay. Aw. <laughs> you purr contentedly, enjoying your new life as a cat. Da -da 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 -da. Actually, I think I need to... Yeah, I gotta put the cookie in the porridge. That's right. He will notice. There we go. Heck yeah. Look at us. Poisoned porridge. We are two thirds through this game in terms of points. <sighs> Pretty glad I got all that off before he woke up, which should be any moment now. <sighs> Take a moment, just say thanks everyone for watching. <laughs> Please subscribe if you have not. And tune in every Tuesday night, 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, right here on Let's Play with Brigands YouTube, as we do these classic Let's Plays live as part of Toss Back Tuesday. It's a fun time. As Alexander just stares... Into the distance, contemplating his future. Looks like he just has like one massive brow or one eye or something. I don't know. I feel like there should be like a tiny little split between his two eyes at least. It's not the best animation. But that's all right. Smash that like button. Getting impatient. Don't make me go and... Uh... All right. Empty pot. Just doing my job. I think it's been pretty much 15 minutes on the nose by now. Oh. Yeah, you have, big, big boy. You hungry? Yes! It's so weird how he just, like, skips a meal. Oh yeah, eat every bite of it, you old. It's kind of a cute animation there. I know he's evil, but <laughs> it's very cute when he's eating the poison porridge. You fooled him. Maninan didn't realize the porridge was tainted. And ate the whole bowl. I just remember in the uh, the voice acted one, he's, he's like, something, wait, this isn't right. This tastes strange. What have you done, boy? That was good voice acting. Congratulations, Manana will never again enslave you or the people of Ludor. At last, you are free. Victory! Hell yeah. <laughs> and he still talked to you. He's like, he's like, I'll get you for this, Gwydion. All right. Fair enough. Huzzah. All right. Let's go get our stuff. We don't have any more spells to do. Thankfully. 
You can now walk around in safety. People uh, of Ludor don't have to worry about him spying on him through his, uh, his telescope anymore and being all voyeurific. Get stuff. Sweet. That is a load off of my mind. Let's go, uh, let's go Alex One on this. Freedom! Yeah, he shows up and, uh, Mordak takes him in in King's Quest V. Uh, King Graham gets pretty annoyed at one point with uh, Alexander for doing this. But, I mean, you know, what are we supposed to do? Maybe you've put locks on the windows, Graham. Growing up, we wouldn't have this problem. Anyway, look at map. To the tavern, where else? I think, don't we see um, Little Red Riding Hood at some point? I thought we saw her walking around, but maybe not. I don't know. Ouch. Yeah, I think we've earned a drink after all that. What you to do with it? Consider, but da 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 da. Wench, am I with more rum? I want to hear that song. Best song in the game. <sighs> Peer through bleary eyes. Hey, Bucko, be one passage on me ship. What you running from? Ah, it's no matter. Let's see how much gold you got. I wonder if I could have just gone off while Manan was not dead, or a cat, rather. Would he have, like, warped onto the ship? I bet the pirates wouldn't have even shown up, actually. All right, we're out of money now. Yep. So I don't know what we do in this situation. And apparently four beers will not kill him. So whatever. Hey, we got a bit of gold. That's four rums worth. Sweet. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Let's do a... Uh, our leaving Las Vegas... I mean, Luendor. Lu... Ludor. Ludor. Leaving Ludor. And we don't need these incredibly descriptive saves anymore. We're free. We only have to save ever so often and, you know, somewhat early. Hey, fellas. Take his things and put them in the old until I figures out what to do with them. What? But I'm a guest here. No! These are pirates. <laughs> Did we not get that from when we were in the, uh... All right. <laughs> but it's fine. Everything's cheerier at sea, even being accosted by pirates. Nothing like a little salt air to perk up a boy's spirit. Salt thing being equal, he might have enjoyed this voyage, uh, ocean voyage. However, you have found your accommodations to be slightly less than satisfactory. Now we are their cabin boy. From servitude to servitude. That's right, we can't catch a break. All right, climb box. All right, jump box. What? Is there something to the right that I might need? Get box. There we go. Da -da 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 -da. Ah, pirate's buried treasure. What about it? 
Was the captain talking when it was meant? He said it was buried. So a lone palm tree. Five paces to the east and start digging. Too bad we can't do anything about it. We used to see their mouths. <laughs> We're just a couple of mice. That was a pitiful jump. We never had a dad to teach us how to jump, Kiko. Come on. Be sensitive. We didn't have King Graham. Or whoever King Graham would have ordered to teach us to jump. The royal jump teacher. Dropbox. This game's messing with me. Jump on box? Okay, there we go. There you go. Maybe that was a pretty good jump. With or without the royal jump teacher. Oops. There you go. Just showing off now. Interesting. No. Oh, uh, shovel. Here we go. Where'd they put all my stuff? This is my stuff. There you go. And we got them all, it said. Take stuff. All right. Look at map. Can I really teleport here? Oh, no. <laughs> That's funny. I don't think I've done that before. Look at chart. There we go. Interesting. Uh, what did the ocean say to the pirate? Nothing. It just waved. That was pretty good. <laughs> All right. Ah! That's not good. Douche. All right, all right, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I think we just chill out for a while now that we have our stuff. There you go. All right, let's try this again. Hensworth. There we go. All right. Now nah, we should be able to sneak up there without getting caught. This had to be in a better ventilated area. He managed to make it to his bed, though. Shallow? 
And yeah, we are kind of slight. Son of a. So close. Ah. I probably go back to the next screen. Let's just do that. Jeez. So close. There you go, suck it, Sharky. Oh my gosh. Land, ho. It's got this island pretty well covered, huh? They said it's five paces to the east. Yeah, I, I did Jaws. It's on the channel. <laughs> it's a fun game. I like that Jaws game. Let's try this. What, because the shark in the water? Joking? He's going to be everywhere. Does he swim away eventually? It really is the perfect time. We have... I don't understand. I'll try. <laughs> he just he comes straight for me. I don't I don't get it. I would think that we want to dig up the treasure, but but no. <laughs> I guess not. Maybe it's back here. Could have sworn that was the palm tree, though. Okay, that's not a screen. That's death. Jeez. I don't remember what the treasure was. I don't know how important it is. Uh, oh, was I supposed to take the plank? Hmm. Maybe climb here, just go straight up and to the right. There we go. Speaking of, uh, and, uh, cauldron, black cauldron. Maybe it all lets me dig if I'm in the right spot. That's a good question. That's fair. I could have canvassed a bit more. In fact, before we go any further, might as well, right? Land, ho. What is wrong with this game? Too close to the ocean and they're like, no! Get too far away from the ocean and they're like, no! It was five paces to the east of the palm tree. I don't get it. I do not get it. Whatever. Hopefully it's not important. Just points. 
Oh, this is lovely. Is this where we need to fly? Yep, this is where we need to fly. Dip feather in essence. Yeah, okay, let's dip eagle feather in essence. Nice. Uh, man, he's been in a lot of King's Quest games. <laughs> he looks more, uh, I don't know. It just looks like a like a guy on his way to work, but I'm quite confused by this. Okay, whatever. Yeah, if I had the pie, I would have. That's where I would have thrown it. <laughs> Okay, your assessment was correct. There we go, better spot. Yeah, they have a fun little uh, moment with this in the Redux version where you're, they play cute little music and the snow, abominable snowman tries to catch you as you go through these different holes. Boy, are these caves dark. Oh, we're coming out there? Uh, shoots you back through. You can't even control it. Ah, oh, I hate you. Hate you, Gwydion. Ah, oh, don't go there. <laughs> Save super often right now. Whoa, he just keeps walking. All right. Okay. Yep, yep. That's okay. That's all right, too. I'm okay with all of this. Let's see. We're down here. Um, Can you just go to the right? Oh, there's like rock in your way there. It doesn't seem like it, but okay. So somehow, don't ask me, this hole is going to connect to the opening over there on the right, the bottom right. I just remember that death screen from Bayou Billy. He's like, do, 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 do. And he's like reaching out. Ugh. Saw that a lot as a kid. Okay. Really hope there wasn't something important in that uh, by that tree. Maybe we never did we never find out where the treasure was. The mice on the ship told me I thought, but I don't know. Man, all this makes Mananin's Mountain look uh, much nicer in comparison. Look and stump. What's a stump? Hole. You know holes. Okay. Don't know holes. That's okay. That was supposed to happen. We're very close now. Some of this should even look familiar. Sort of. Even though I didn't play the EGA version of... King's Quest 1 yet. La 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 la. What, what is that? Why do I know that? How do you know? How the hell do you know my name? How do you know I'm Prince Alexander? Yeah, it's rough. Is that Smurfs? 
Why is he doing the Smurfs theme? Yeah, yeah, there you go. It's up to me. I just got here. Why is a gnome? Oh, is that the gnome from the uh, original game? I don't know. You're not the gnome that always tried to rob my father. La, 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 la. Eh, Roselle can take care of herself. I'm going to get me a ice-cold Daventry beer. All right, then. I'll go save Rosella. I think she was actually back to the right when I started. Yeah, I think we wanted to go right here. <laughs> Whatever. It's fine. It's just misleading, because when you fall down, it seems like you're falling down from here, but I guess this is where we are going. Yep. We gotta go invisible here in a second. <laughs> I think this is where we wanna do it. Mighty strange, mighty hot up here. Yeah, this looks familiar too. This is where the giant lived. And what do we do when we're up here with that giant on the next screen, even though it's not a giant right now? Rub ointment. Use ointment. Rub ointment on body. Hell yeah. I mean, I guess that's invisible. <laughs> Close enough. Three-headed dragon. Yeah, I could see how Dad would be having a problem with that. Have we had to use that knife yet? Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> You've broken this. Oh, that's dark. Da, 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 da. All right, I think we need to use the uh the other spell. Uh, let's see, it was Stir Storm Brew. <sighs> um, use Storm Brew? Uh, you literally do. Stir Storm Brew with fingers. <sighs> Finger? Oh my god, screw you, King's Quest 3. <laughs> Alright, uh, Brew of Storms churn it up there it is oh yeah do your thing love that gray bolts of lightning strike the huge dragon he howls in pain and falls to the ground dead <laughs> sup up says she's still screaming. I just killed the dragon. Wait, maybe we should talk to her first. Okay. I don't know what else I was expecting her to say. You rapidly untie Princess Rosella from the wooden pole. She looks bewildered as to who her benefactor might be. Yeah, you gotta say that quick. I'm your long lost brother, Prince Alexander, you proudly exclaim. The girl looks doubtful. I'll explain it all later. You continue realizing that this is not the time. Just follow me. Let's go meet the folks. <laughs> With mixed emotions, the girl agrees to follow you. Got to go back that way. Da, 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 da. Her chest is like bouncing kind of violently there. This is the faster way, right? Definitely the faster way. Da, 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 da. All right, let's get going, Rosie. <laughs> Too many puns. 
We won would we wouldn't have wanted that battle to drag on. That's fantastic. All right. I think just Is she in the way? She is in the way. Damn it, Rosella. Uh good luck getting down. You don't know. She's like, I don't have the three button on my keyboard. Yeah, she's getting Look at that. That was smooth. Look at that cornering. Hell yeah. What is that there? Eh. Nothing much. Looks like something you could store there, but I guess not. A little alcove. I got my uh, Eye of the Beholder 2 goggles on. Roselle seems kind of dumb. <laughs> she gets lost a lot. And she looks like that dragon didn't give her any support in her chest area. That's just rude. There's home, your sister cries in delight. Mum and dad will be so happy. Da 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 la la la. But first, you have to fight this old gnome. Oh, yippee, you did it, your majesty. The gnome squeals in delight. I knew you could save us all. King Graham and Queen Valenice will be overjoyed to see you two. He claps his gnarled hands. I must run ahead to announce your arrival. The gnome spryly scampers toward the castle. Really? I kind of wanted to surprise them myself. Yeah, I guess I could loot your house. No? What's a loot? My god, enough with the typies. The castle doors are wide open to welcome home a long-missing son and a much-loved daughter. Huh. <laughs> Atop the castle, the banners proudly wave. The heavy feeling of oppression is gone. Hope is at last returned to Daventry. Fancy castle, two screens. You nervously enter the throne room with your sister, Princess Rosella. Before the twin thrones stand your parents, King Graham and Queen Valenice. Graham and Valenice are overjoyed to see you. Alexander, where have you been all these years? Oh, I'm sorry, I thought that was Graham's voice. <laughs> oh, well. I'm so proud of both of you. I was trying to do that Graham narration voice. What a joyous family reunion. You are home at last. King Graham points to the mirror. That was once a magic mirror, son, he says sadly. But it has been clouded ever since the night you disappeared from your cradle. You sure Val and Easton just put like some security features on it so you'd stop seeing sexy ladies and <laughs> adventuring out to pick them up? Yay! What a coincidence! Before your astonished eyes, the, I'm just going to run with the voice now. The magic mirror clears and shines anew with brilliant clarity. Queen Valenice cries in delight. The terrible dragon is dead. Our children are home. And the future looks bright for us all. Don't speak too soon, Mom. King Graham lovingly retrieves his adventurer's hat with the red feather. With emotion, he tells you, Alexander, Rosella, this old hat and I have been through a lot together. Yeah, two whole games. Now it's time he had a new traveling companion. He flings it in your direction. I'm like, I just got here. Couldn't I get like a royal sandwich or a massage or, you know, a drink or something? <laughs> just instantly, he's like, all right, who's next? Who's taking over the family business? The end. That's a nice place to cut before Graham doubles over in pain. <laughs> As we go straight into the events of King's Quest IV, The Perils of Rosella. But uh, there you go. We were 15 points shy of our goal. Couldn't for some reason dig up the treasure at the, uh, at the palm tree. But uh, not sure what that's about, but there you go. Congratulations on your successful completion of King's Quest III. 
We hope you will enjoy playing as much as we enjoy creating it for you. I don't know, that typing was pretty beat. So is the waiting. May the adventuring continue with King's Quest IV, the search for more money. That expression Valenice has on her face just ah. Graham does look pretty pale, actually. We got our mom's skin tone there. Graham just looks like he could be part of the uh, the throne. All right. Well, that's it. Quit. That's good. All right. Thank you, everyone. For tuning in to this let's play of the original King's Quest 3, the annoying typey version. But I'm glad I finally did it. As always, tune in next time for more fun, fun times right here on Let's Play with Brings, and I hope to see you then. Bye.